What's up everybody, my name is Nick. If this is your first time here on my channel, how's it going? If this is not your first time here on my channel, welcome back. All right, you guys, so we have a special video today. Today is another one of our public domain full length watch along reaction. So we are gonna be knocking a classic out of the way that I have always wanted to see, but for whatever reason, I've just not watched it. I haven't gotten around to it. So today we are watching 1922's Nosferatu. I know of the movie. I know that it is apparently based off of Bram Stoker's Dracula novel. It is a silent film. I believe there's like transitions or like, I don't even know what it would be called. I don't know, like words come up on the screen. And as far as I know, the version that I'm watching, it is in English so that I can understand it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this full movie is on YouTube, which is really, really cool. This is just something that I've wanted to watch for a very, very long time. And what with, you know, me moving, and, and you know, as you can tell, it's becoming more and more empty behind me. What a great way to not have to, you know, spend <laughs> like 20 hours editing a video throughout the week. We could just watch this in full length together and have a good old spooky time. So before we get into this video, if you would like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button, that would be greatly appreciated. This way you can stay up to date on any time I post a new video. If you're interested in seeing what I'm doing outside of YouTube, you can check me out on social media. I have both Instagram and I have Twitter. And if you're interested in seeing even more more reactions to TV shows and movies that aren't on YouTube, you can check out my Patreon. You'll get access to all of those exclusive full-length reactions. You'll get access to polls to help me pick what I watch next and full-length audio commentaries and more cool stuff. So without further ado, I'm really, really excited to get into this movie. Let's watch Nosferatu. Nosferatu, A Symphony of Horror, from the novel Dracula by Bram Stoker. I'm so excited to watch this movie. Count Orlock? <laughs> I was like, did it freeze? I can still hear the music, but... Which is incredibly loud. Act one. An account of the great death of Wisberg, 1838. Nosratu, does this world not sound like the death bird calling your name at midnight? Beware, you never say it, for then the pictures of life will fade to shadows, haunting dreams will climb forth from your heart and feed on your blood. I have reflected at length on the origin and passing of the great death in my hometown of Wisberg. Here is its story. Once in Wisberg lived a man who something and his young wife, Ellen, named Sutter. Oh, that's the guy's name. Sutter or something. Hutter. Butter. I can't believe it's. I don't know. How sweet. I 
I wonder if they've ever made like a colorized version of this. I'd be curious to see what it looks like in color. He's like, hello. I see you've been playing with your pussy cat. Pervert. Other pervert. Why did you kill them such beautiful flowers? <laughs> the way he's like crushing her into his chest. Not so fast, my young friend. No one can outrun their fate. There was an estate agent named Knock about whom all sorts of rumors circulated. The only thing for certain was that he paid for his people well. Holy mother of eyebrows. Please tell me that that's a young person like done up. Like, like look at the, ugh. Look at the eyebrows. <laughs> My God. I mean, those eyebrows, he puts Eugene Levy to shame. Damn. It's, it's the teeth. It's the teeth for me. His Grace from Transylvania wishes to purchase a nice house in our little town. I want to go to Transylvania so bad. I, w I really want to visit Dracula's castle. You could earn a tidy sum. Tidy sum? Tidy? Tiny? Why? You might have to go to a bit of trouble, a little sweat, and maybe a little blood. <laughs> Close your mouth. wants a very nice empty house what language like well there was it was like symbols not a language y'all are gonna make him live in that that house across from yours off of that one shade <laughs> off with you have a good trip my young friend to the land of phantoms Is Count Orlock, is, is that supposed to be Dracula? They just changed his name? Cause I've seen, like I've seen the, the, the image of like, him like coming up the stairs or doing whatever or something like that. I must travel far, far away to the land of thieves and phantoms.
She looks like she's about to pass out. Like, are you, sis. Does she have stage makeup on or something? Cause she looks like she's like dead. Like I would be afraid that coming at me at like night walking down the street. Also like when I watch like old movies like this, I just feel really bad for them because they didn't have air conditioning. And society apparently demanded that they wear like 37 fucking layers. I would, I would not have survived during this time period. I mean, maybe my body would have acclimated, but like, I don't do well with extreme heat. Like one year at this music festival that I go to, it was like almost 90 degrees. Thus, Hutter entrusted his anxious wife, anxious, yeah, to the care of his friends, the wealthy ship owner, Harding and his sister. Um, it was like 90 degrees or something, and I spent 90% of that entire week at the festival in the U-Haul that we rented in the air conditioning, because I can't deal with that, that level of heat. If it is over to 80 degrees, I don't leave my house. Don't worry. <laughs> and she's like wearing dark colors. Oh God. I feel like people back then probably smelled really bad too because of all the sweat. Just like the world just must've just, it, it just everything just smelled like swamp ass. Ugh. It's very pretty though. And young Hutter traveled down countless dusty roads until finally the Carpathians gleamed above him. The horses pulled harder. I think that's how you say, I don't have my phone. I think that's how you say his name, Hutter. I think that's an H. Ooh, look how pretty that is. So obviously wherever these people live, they're in y Europe, since he took horses to Romania. Quickly bring my dinner. I'm on way my way to Count Orlok's castle. Okay, so Orlok must be Dracula. Judging by their looks. Hold the mustache though. <laughs> Like, how do you even eat? You have to like lift up the mustache just to put food in your mouth. They're like, don't go to that castle. You can't go any further tonight. The werewolf is roaming the forest. Now we got werewolves. And he's like, ah, aren't you funny? <laughs> Werewolves, what are you talking about? There's no such thing. Mm. 
What was that? Was that a hyena? That looks like a hyena. It looks like a hyena to me, I don't know. Imagine, imagine that being your Airbnb. Why does she still, is she trying to get a peek? Like. That's a hyena. What is he gonna do now that all of his horses are gone? They just ran away. When they, this particular shot, when they first switched over to this, I'm fairly certain there was a blooper. You could see somebody's arm in the frame. Even back in 1922. A Vampire's Terrible Phantoms. In The Seven Deadly Sins. Gather round while I tell you a tale I call Buffy, Slayer of the Vampire. From the seed of something sprang the vampire Nosferatu, who liveth and feedeth on human blood. This unholy creature liveth in sinister caves, tombs, and coffins, which are filled with cursed dirt from the fields of the Black Death. So wait, no. Who the fuck is Corn? 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 Count Olak. Is, is that just like, are they the same people? Orlok and Nosferatu? He's like, ah, hogwash. The horses came back. Oh, people chased the horses back. <laughs> Who wakes up that happy? Of vampires terror. Oh, wait, wait, I already saw this. <laughs> Still hogwash. It's like <laughs> What is that how he bathes? Get a move on, it's getting dark. That rickety ass bridge. Mm -mm. I 
I mean, like, I know it was necessary back then to, like, pay what you will, we stop here, um, to, to use horses in that way. But, like, I have read stuff and I've watched uh, videos uh, talking about, like, we shouldn't be sitting on horses. Like, that's bad for their backs. They always end up, like, at the end of their life, like, their like spines are, like, curved and stuff. Like, I like horses, but I, I don't know. For me personally, to each their own, I just wouldn't want to ride one. I just feel like that's weird. I don't know. Like, I feel like an elephant is one thing, because th them big bitches, they can't even feel you on them. As soon as Hutter crossed the bridge, he was seized by the eerie visions he so often told me of. I like how it's like supposed to be scary and the music is like It's very grand and happy and joyous Not him that man up there looking like if uncle fester got on jenny craig. Oh my god No Oh, that's cool how they inverted the film. They're covered in all black. <laughs> the horses so they have black cloaks on too. And this bitch is really about to walk up there anyway. Is that him? He's got like the... I, you know what, now that I'm thinking of it, for anybody who's watched um, Angel, in season five, there's like an, uh, an, a flashback episode and they're on a submarine and there's a vampire that kind of always, I, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like modeled after this. Cause it also had like the, like this to him. Now I gotta look that up afterwards. Look, he's looking at him like, what the fuck is going on with your eyebrows? You have kept me waiting too long. It's almost midnight. The servants are asleep. Almost midnight. You pretended like this wasn't filmed during the day. <laughs> Like, I didn't keep your ass waiting too long. Y'all live out in the middle of nowhere. But I guess that's good to know, like, end of act one. That's good to know that uh, what appears to be daylight is supposed to be nighttime in this movie.
Why? I love that. Oh my God, I love that. I want one for myself. That is so cool. <laughs> you done fucked up now. If he starts sucking on his thumb, you've hurt yourself. The precious blood. Did he just try to suck on his thumb? It's okay, just say no homo. <laughs> He's like, I ain't into that lifestyle. I don't know nothing about it. Also, the moose knuckle. Like, I, uh, it's wild. Can we not stay together a little while longer, my lovely man? It's still quite a long time until sunrise and I sleep by day, dear fellow, completely dead to the rock. <laughs> I mean, it literally looks like he's just staring at, like, uh, the, the attire does not hide anything. As soon as the sun rose, the shadows of the night retreated from Hutter. That's where you slept? This, this castle, he had a room for you to sleep in? Okay, so that's his neck. I don't know what that was about. Ooh, even in black and white, that looks good. I'm so hungry right now. I should get something to eat after watching this. Something healthy, like Taco Bell. That probably has such a pretty view. I wanna explore this place. I'm assuming this wasn't actually filmed at the actual castle. It doesn't really look like it. My darling, dearest, do not be troubled that your beloved is far away. I don't even know if he talks with that accent, but that's how I choose to interpret it. Mosquitoes are a terrible nuisance. Ugh, two just bit me on the neck side by side, quite close together. Wait, just now? Or he woke up with, because I didn't see those when he looked in the mirror. He's saying that that just happened just now? One dream deeply in the desolate castle, but don't let that frighten you. One dreams deeply in this desolate castle, okay. Ugh, mosquitoes, ugh.
Who that? Who is that? Come here, look at my mosquito bites. The ghostly evening light seemed to bring the castle shadows to life again. Mm -mm, he's looking at that picture. Oh he, he, oh, he wants her. Your wife has a lovely neck. I'm buying the house, that nice deserted house across from yours. Yikes. I think that is Nosferatu. Or Count Orlock. What? I don't understand the difference. Maybe... Does he always look like that? Is that him? I don't know. Maybe it's just, it's hard to recognize him with the hat on. Is that the, the book from the... Airbnb or whatever. At night, that same Nosferatu digs big claws into his victims and suckles himself on the hellish elixir of their blood. Beware that his shadow does not engulf you like a demonic nightmare. I want one of those so bad. Did he really have to stay at this castle for multiple nights just to get this man to sign a lease? Or a deed? I don't, uh, he's buying it, I guess. Oh no. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> yep, that's him. That's him. It was just the hat that was throwing me. So I'm assuming like Count Orlock is like his normal person name. And then Nosferatu is when he's feeling freaky at night. Oh yeah, he's creepy. At that very moment. <laughs> Look at her tiptoeing. <laughs> That is a huge pipe that he is smoking from. This crazy bitch, what is she doing? Right. Ellen, your husband entrusted you to me. <laughs> now I know why. A doctor, get a doctor. What 
That's a fun shot. Oh, so it is Hutter, okay. So she's like connected to him somehow. Damn, that nose, that's a beak. I've always wanted a door like that. How sexy is a door like that? Ooh. It's like spooky and sexy. I love it. Ooh, he's got nice hair. Just a mild case of blood congestion. The doctor described Ellen's anxiety to me as some sort of unknown illness, but I know that on that night her soul heard the call of the death bird. Nosferatu was already spreading his wings at dawn. Hutter set out to investigate the horrors of the previous nights. So he saw, Nosferatu saw the picture of Ellen and somehow was able to like psychically connect with her as he was feeding on her husband all the way in Transylvania. Okay. Yeah, you got sucked. You got sucked real good. That, that sounded a little... Well... found his boudoir. Imagine walking into this fucking basement and seeing a coffin and not immediately vacating. I mean, well, oh. No, with the, with the teeth. Look at him. Is he awake? His eyes look open. Stake him. Well, maybe he, they didn't know about the vampires back then. And you're still there, that's the... Is he under his thrall or something? What is that? Are those coffins? Yes. Did he just psychically like... How did he do that? How did he move the, the lid? He can move shit with his mind? What is he doing? Was he locked in? I don't remember them showing him being locked in. Get up! Unless you just broke a bone, you need to get up.
The raftsmen were oblivious to the strange cargo they piloted downstream. So he like straight up like just sucked him off, evidently, and then like was like, peace, I'm going to eat your wife now too. But he didn't even like wait for him. He didn't even try to keep up the facade. <laughs> All right. End of act two. Welcome to act three. Sorry. Yeah. Is it really a Nick Says Boo video unless I slipped some sort of screamer Halloween <laughs> reference into there? Oh, Halloween. He was brought to the hospital yesterday by farmers. They said he had fallen. He still has a fever. I've fallen and I can't get up. Coffins. Nosferatu was coming. Danger was on its way to Whisper. Professor Bulwer, a par something, who was then investigating the secrets of nature and its unifying principles, told me about it. Caskets filled with dirt were loaded into the double-masted schooner Impusa. Is that a boat? Double-masted. That sounds like a boat. But he didn't get there by boat, did he? Or did we just not see him on the boat? All right, so there's definitely a boat. Okay, so he must have taken a boat and they just didn't show that. The ship set sail tonight. Port Authority Gallus Bill of Lading for the. Uh. Six crates of dirt for experimental purposes. So when did, like, because I, I haven't, I don't think I, I don't remember reading Dracula. But, like, when did the whole, like, three wives come into the tale? Not them, oh! Ratoncito. Ugh. Gross. But, like, Ooh. Oh. Too much. Too much. You shouldn't have opened it anyway. I should note that in those days, Professor Bulwer was teaching his students about the dreadful methods of carnivorous plants, one viewed with horror, the mysterious workings of nature. But like, I know like the, that movie Renfield is coming out and I know Renfield is associated with Dracula, but like, I don't, I've seen the original Dracula, of course, like uh, Bela Lugosi, oh my God. That movie is just Stunning. I love watching that. That and like Frankenstein and Wolfman. I love putting that stuff on before, but. But like Renfield, Van Helsing. I don't know when any of those characters were introduced into the lore of Dracula. Dracula. It's over for you, Fly. That reminds me, I've also not seen that movie, um, like a vampire, you know? Um, Little, Little Shop of Horrors. I think there's multiple versions of that. I haven't seen either of them. As the predator Nosferatu approached, it seems that the estate agent, Nock, had already begun to fall under a spell. Okay, so he is just able to like put spells on bitches from across the pond. All right. 
The patient who was admitted yesterday has gone stark raving mad. The, the mustache game, like there was a lot going on back in the 1830s with mustaches and, and body hair. What the f Who is that? Is that the one from the beginning? Oh, he's a bug eater. Bug eater. I know. Blood is life. Oh! Oh, Xander says that in uh, Buffy vs. Dracula. Blood. Blood is life. <laughs> look, look at his face. He's like, what the f He looks like Danny DeVito in like, Batman Returns. But like, is that supposed to be, what's his face? The main guy that we've been following? That's not the, no, right? That's the one from the beginning. I'm a little bit confused as to who that is supposed to be. And this one here. A polyp with tentacles. A trans, transparent, almost ethereal. Ew, what is that? Well, it's a polyp with tentacles, but I don't know what that means. A little more than a phantom. Spiders, don't, I don't wanna see any. I don't wanna look, I'm not looking at it. I can like tell from my peripheral, <laughs> I'm not looking at the spiders. <laughs> Let's just stare longingly into each other's eyes until the spiders leave the screen. Thank God. Okay, so he's like the Xander of the situation. Ellen was often spotted on the beach in the solitude of the dunes. Her eyes scanned the waves and the horizon as she pined for her beloved. <laughs> what is this beach cemetery situation? I would like to go. What is that, racquetball or something? I don't know, that reminds me of Heathers. Who is this man? Is it, we got a peeping Tom? Was he just taking a shit? What, what? Ew, did he just take a shit in the bush and then wipe his hands on his, ugh. What was that about? What was that? Ooh, she looks gorgeous. very dramatic, her sitting on the speech. My darling dearest, do not be troubled that your beloved is far away. The mosquitoes are a terrible nuisance to jo Oh, 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 this is that old letter, okay. I thought this was a new one. Oh, 
okay, so that wasn't him. The other guy was just like a bug eater, minion or something. No, I must go, I must get home as quickly as possible. So did he just pass out because his, like, Nosferatu drank his blood? So he was just like low on blood? Which does make someone pass out. I should know since there's been multiple occasions in which I get my blood drawn, not in a while, thankfully, but get my blood drawn and I pass out, oh my God. This one time I went to the doctor's office and I got my blood drawn. And the nurse, like she was not supposed to leave the room. She's like, oh, I'll be right back. Right at, directly after drawing my blood. My ass, I passed out. I went face forward into the ground, busted my chin open for like the third or fourth time that that's happened in my life. And then as I come to, as they're like, wake up, wake up, wake up. They didn't know because they weren't in the room. They didn't know how I fell. And like, if I like hit my head in a way or like hurt my neck, they had to call an ambulance from the doctor's office. I had to be lo put on a, like a gurney with a neck brace, like a fucking, what's his face from Pineapple Express, in a neck brace, loaded into an ambulance, brought to the emergency room so they could run tests on me to make sure I didn't like crack my spine or something like that. And the worst part is the, the, the EMT that loaded me into the ambulance was cute. He was so cute. And I'm sitting there in this neck brace covered in blood, bleh. Plague. A plague epidemic has broken out in Transylvania and in the Black Sea ports. Masses of young people are dying. All victims appear to have the same strange wounds on their necks, the origin of which is still a mystery to doctors. I'm uh, suspect of carrying the plague. That ain't a plague. That's a vampire. Can someone get that man a toothbrush, please? How far into this movie are we? 52 minutes, all right, all right. A sailor has taken ill before, below deck, he's delirious. Is he actually delirious or is he just spouting off about vampires? Also, this this guy with the, 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 the hair hanging off the sides of his face, it's like giving Wolfman, it's giving like Dr. Jekyll. Like he's like, what the f are you going on about down here? What? Yeah, give him some alcohol, that'll shut him up. Apparently it did, he knocked out right away. Oh, maybe not, it was a lie. Wait, who is the man on the ship? That's the main guy? Hutton or whatever? Hut, I don't know, something with an H. 
No, that's him. So who is the guy below the deck? Or is that just somebody on the ship that is like tweaking because what's his face is like putting images in his head. It spread like a scourge through the ship. The first sailor that was infected pulled the whole crew down into a dark watery grave. By the light of the sinking sun, the captain and first mate said goodbye to the last of their comrades. So he, what did he do to them though? He just turned them all crazy? But how did they, like, how did they die? I'm going below if I'm not back up again in 10 minutes. Then what? Then you, then you don't come back up. He's the only one left. The one in the back, the captain, looks psychotic. Look at him. Need a razor and a bath. But like, what, what is the purpose of the rats though? Like, is Nosferatu friends with them? Oh. That is so freaking scary looking, but also really cool. That the long talons, ooh. He's like, don't fuck with my rat friends. Hell no, hell no. I would rather get turned into a vampire than drown. F that. Granted, you wouldn't have caught me on this boat anyway, but. What is he doing? So this is, I'm assuming supposed to be at night. What is he doing? He's like, what in the world? The death ship had a new captain. End of act three. So Mr. Nosferatu, what was the game plan here? It is difficult to say how the weakened young Hutter was able to overcome all the obstacles of the trip home. Meanwhile, the deadly breath of Nosferatu filled the sails of the ship so that it flew towards its goal with supernatural speed. Oh, interesting. He's got a lot of powers. Cause I was like, what's the game plan here? Like, what, like, you're not really keeping a low profile. Like you're just calling attention to yourself. What was the point of murdering everybody on board? And what is the fascination with, what is her name, Ellen? What, like, for what? Do they not have many necks in Transylvania? I don't get it. Like sailed across the fucking world just to bite her. And homegirl might not even make it in time. Like she, she's clearly just trying to throw herself off the damn balcony. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to look at the waves. Yeah, sis, I commend you for having curtains, but cl close your window. What is she trying to do? Commune with the moon? I 
I must go to him, he's coming. Mm, let's not and say that we did. I guess maybe that, you know, 1838, the window was probably open because they don't have air conditioning. She didn't have no socks and shoes on. So is this bug eater guy, is this like somebody that Nosferatu sent over to this town to scope it out and find a place to live? The master is near, the master is near. Him in his like telekinesis. <laughs> I've wondered for a long time why it was said that Nosferatu took his coffins filled with dirt with him. I have surmised that vampires can only draw their shadowy strength from the cursed earth in which they were buried. Oh, that's interesting. That I did not know. Not him fully just walking around holding a cuff. There's less mystery to him. <laughs> All right, so I get the dirt thing now, but like, are we getting an explanation as to why he has like a family of rats that travel with him? Just fully walking around in the middle of the night holding a giant f***ing coffin full of dirt. Yeah, this is very demystifying a little bit. It's a little like, <laughs> I don't know, it's a little hokey looking. I feel like that should have been something that they like did not show.
I'm surprised that he got home at the same time that he did, considering <laughs> Nosferatu had like a full day ahead of him. Thank God you are safe, everything will be all right now. Eh, not so much. I don't know why, just the image of him holding the coffin and just wandering through the town. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. He can teleport? Damn, and he doesn't even just like bite you on the side of the neck. Like he gets you like right in the center. Ugh. How does he even like, I'm like, how do you, how do you even do that? Cause like the holes are like this. How does he, he has to like come over them, I think. Oh. We've looked everywhere, not a living soul on board. Besides myself, the captain. One helmsman, one ship's mate, five sailors. So is that the, like the captain's log? I love his outfit, but I, I, I hope this is not a summer month. He's still alive? Day two, one sailor is taken ill with fever. Mate is talking nonsense, claims an unknown passenger is below deck. It is July, it is a summer month. Oh my God, they're sweating balls. Blech. Uh, rats in the hold of the ship, danger of plague. So that's how he like keeps his identity a secret. Like instead of, he, he like causes people to go crazy, brings the rats with him so that people think that the rats infected people. Danger of plague, return to your homes, bolt all windows and doors.
And y'all are just gonna leave this man's body in the middle of whatever this giant room is? And then she just falls out of the window. Be it hereby decreed that the municipal authorities forbid the citizenry to transport the suspected plague stricken to the hospital. Okay, so that's why they left him there, as this shall only spread the plague through the streets of our town. End of act four. Damn, there's five acts. Aren't movies normally like four acts? Or three, I don't know. What does that mean? So there's like less than 20 minutes left. I don't know, what's the purpose of the crosses on the doors? Are those all people that have been infected? Infected? Oh yeah, so it's all people who have died. Nosferatu does not waste any damn time. Hutter had made Alan promise not to touch the book which had caused him to have such frightening visions, but she found its strange force irresistible. At night, that same Nosferatu digs big claws into his victims and suckles himself on the hellish elixir of their blood. Sis. Beware that his shadow does not engulf you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deliverance is possible, but none other means that an innocent maiden maketh the vampire heed, not the first crowning of the cock. This done by the, oh, by the, by the sacrifice of her own blood. Like a, like a rooster, right? Look at him, <laughs> creepy ass. That is what I look at every night. What?
What the hell is he doing now? They're all so dramatic. It's so wild how like back in the day that that's how they had to like light the streets. I mean, it makes sense. It's just like crazy to me. Cause where did I see that for the first time? Fear lurked in every corner of town. Who was still healthy? Who was sick? Um, what, what was, I think it was the interview with a vampire TV series, which you can watch my full length reactions on Patreon. But yeah, they did that in that show too. And that was still going on like in the early 1900s, I think. I'll run over quickly and fetch Seavers. The bell does not appear to be waking that man. So it was his plan to come over here? Oh, that's kind of a striking image. His plan was to come over to this town and just eradicate the town, basically. It wasn't specifically, like, to get her. You just need to eat a meal that is like obnoxiously heavy and garlic and then be like, come bite me, bitch. You want a taste? Deliverance is possible for me. Oh yeah, we already. Like, I don't understand what, what it's trying to tell me. Something having to do with the sun. But it's like written like, um, in like prose or something like that. The, the town was paralyzed by fear. They were looking for a scapegoat. They chose knock. Oh, so they're gonna say that he brought it back with them? People saw him, he fled from the house, he strangled the guard. What? He strangled him, he's a vampire. Strangled who? Then you got this crazy ass. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, this part I don't understand. Who are they talking about? Who strangled who? What are they talking about? Is that knock? Oh, oh, okay, I get it. Damn, they're clocking him good. And he's just taking a ha ha ha. I mean, in a sense, they're not wrong. He did strangle the man. He's not a vampire, but he certainly looks the part. And he is the one that like facilitated everything for having Nosferatu come over here. So he is at fault. I love you. That's nice.
evil dies tonight. <laughs> That's what it's giving. Because <laughs> the guy, the, uh, the guy looks like the, the, the one, the, the crazy person that also covered in hair that flies, jumps out of the thing in Halloween Kills. Now I wonder if that's what that was based on. Because that's what this is given a little bit. Ooh, I know that image. I know that, oh, Scream 2. That's what you see on the TV that Cece's watching. Yeah, this really makes me want to watch Salem's Lot. the drama. Ugh. Thank God she woke him up. Bulwer, get Bulwer. Who's Bulwer? Is that the doctor? You, he shouldn't have left. The music is very intense right now. <laughs> Ooh, I know that shot. I love that shot. Oh, he's moving. He's got some, some speed to him now. Snatched her heart or something. Jeez, oh my god, the music scared the shit out of me. Oh! Oh, he's drinking her, he's drinking her! He got her! Ugh. They caught knock. He's really, he's, mm. there's the rooster. That is one ugly bitch. Ugh. Ugh. 
It's like a combination of like Kid Jason when he jumps out of the lake at the end of the first one, but also like a little bit of um I forgot, it's gone. Oh, um, do y'all remember uh, Bat Boy? It was on, uh, on the Sun or the Weekly World News that like horrible, the, the whatever the fake magazine was that they used to sell for the longest time that you would see at like the checkout aisle at the grocery store that was always like crazy outlandish stories that were quite obviously not real. I lived for that magazine. But Bat Boy, he was on the cover of that all the time. That's what he kind of looks like. So she sat, so I'm assuming that's supposed to mean that the sun is coming up. So she's like tempted him somehow, somehow, and got him to come over and drink her blood to trick him to being out in the open when the sun came up. She said, we're gonna get a tan on that pasty pale tail of yours. Well, he's dead. He's gone. The master is dead. Well, did he die too? Did he not drink all of her blood? Is she gonna become a vampire? Is it like Buffy? Well, how you become a vampire? First they drink your blood and then you drink their blood. It's a whole big sucking thing. Basically, they're just gonna kill you. Hutter. Who is Hutter again? Oh, Hutter is the, the husband. Yes. Is she dead? She, oh, she really did sacrifice herself, huh? Her and her lack of neck wounds. What is his issue? And the truth bore witness to the miracle. At that very moment, the great death came to an end and the shadow of the death bird was gone as if obliterated by the triumphant rays of the living sun. Well. The end. That was Nosferatu. That was really good. I will be honest, not that that was like a long movie in general, but with like a lot of the older ones, like with, with Carnival of Souls or uh, House on Haunted Hill, I feel like they were less long than that. This was still under, it was like 87 minutes or something. So it's like the length of Halloween. But yeah, th I thought that that was really, really good. Obviously like having seen many vampire movies and Buffy and all of that stuff, a lot of like the general, idea of the story is the same. Like I've seen the original Dracula movie with Bela Lugosi. So the plot is fairly similar-ish. I don't really remember. Like it's been, I probably, I don't know. It's been like a year since I've watched Dracula, but I don't know. Like this, I thought that this was pretty good. I thought the music was incredibly dramatic. Nosferatu himself looked horrendous. I mean, like, it was creepy as hell. It was extremely creepy, but ugh, like not, I don't even want to look at him. But uh, you you know, it's funny with the, the two giant front teeth thing. It's very, I'm assuming that's what Salem's Lot was also based off of because they kind of look similar to that. And I remember growing up, Salem's Lot, whatever the bad guy is in Salem's Lot, I haven't, I haven't need to rewatch it. I haven't watched that in at least a decade. It was creepy as shit too. <sighs> but yeah, I loved this. I loved this. Let me know what you guys thought about this down in the comments and I will see you next week.